The A6 project represents a 189 million investment for the Northern Ireland Executive. The project involved the construction of 21 major structures, including five compact grade separated junctions, four pedestrian bridges, five underpasses and seven overbridges were constructed. In addition to that, 31 main line and 14 side road structural culverts were completed and over 30 kilometres of main line drainage were installed, as well as the delivery of accommodation works for 132 landowners. Graham Farr and Joint Venture have been involved in the project from 2015, where we work closely with the Department for Infrastructure and their project managers ACOM right through an ECI phase to the final opening of the project in 2021. The main objectives of the scheme were to improve road safety, reduce journey time by a quarter, and more importantly, improve the journey time reliability on the Northwest Transport Corridor for commuters heading towards Belfast and the Northwest through Macrofelt and Dungiven. We had a significant community engagement program and our program was focused on STEM subjects and getting young people into the field of STEM. So we worked with 43 local schools and we encouraged over 500 young children to take part in one of our STEM workshops. During the construction of the A6 Fueling Scheme, we also undertook a significant amount of volunteering and we volunteered in the region of £11,600 worth of work hours. We created positions for nine apprentices, 24 opportunities for those who were long-term unemployed and education leavers, and 48 work experience opportunities. We work with Mid Ulster District Council and Antrim and Newton Abbey Borough Council to hold a Meet the Buyer event at the beginning of work. The event is advertised to over 800 local businesses. We had significant success with our local supply chain with over 85% coming from the local area. Receiving the gold status at the Consider Constructors Award is a great achievement and we're very proud of the work that we have done in the project to engage with the local community, protect the wider environment, and make sure our workforce are looked after. So the, the main key environmental challenge was working so close to Loch Beg, which is a special protected area. You have the Hooper Swans who use the fields around Toome and Loch Beg as their winter feeding ground when they uh, migrate from Iceland. So to mitigate these challenges, we engaged with stakeholders through the Environmental Working Group and the Cooper Swan Working Group. But it was also about engagement with our workforce, detailing uh, information on notice boards, etc. We had bespoke meta statements such as our Hooper Swan Protocol, which was approved by RSPB and NIA. One of the most sustainable techniques used on this scheme were the use of bar pits. So the use of bar pits allowed us to take 2.3 million cube of material from the local area and use it on the scheme. This reduced our impact, moving about 250 lorry loads of materials on the local roads, but also reduced our carbon impact. The A6 Dueling Project is a high profile scheme with a large degree of public interest. And the sustainability credentials of this project have helped to facilitate a positive working relationship with all engaged stakeholders and it's provided a platform to promote sustainability awareness within the local community. Proof of this is with our soon to be awarded sequel award, with the project currently reaching an excellent category for a whole team award. And with more evidence to be gathered, we're likely to score well into the 90 to 100% mark.